Varanasi is a city in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh dating to the 11th century BC. Regarded as the spiritual capital of India, the city draws Hindu pilgrims who bathe in the Ganges River's sacred waters and perform funeral rites. Sanarpura Sivala Road leads directly from Hotel Broadway to the sacred Ganga River. If you go left along the river you cannot miss Shivala, Gularia, and Hanuman Ghat. Ghats in Varanasi are riverfront steps leading to the banks of the Ganges River. The city has 84 ghats. Most of the ghats are bathing and puja ceremonial ghats, while two ghats, Manakarnika and Harishchandra, are used exclusively as cremation sites. Shivala Ghat is one of the largest ghats in Varanasi. It was built by King Bolvant Singh in honor of Hindu god Shiva. Gularia Ghat turned into named after a big gular tree which isn't always gift now. Gularia changed into in shambles however turned into made Pukka by Laluji Agarwal. Hanuman is a sacred ghat for the Hindu believers as it is named after their Hanuman, big monkey, god. Mahanirvani Ghat, in Varanasi, is named after the Naga Saint Mahanirvani. It is believed that, Lord Buddha took a bath at this site. Harishchandra Ghat is one of the two major cremation grounds, Harishchandra and Manakarnika, of Kashi. In the context of naming the Ghat, there is a traditional belief that Harishchandra, the king of Ayodhya and the symbol of truth, was sold on this crematorium in Kashi to protect the truth. Kedar Ghat is one of the most popular Ghats in Varanasi. Apart from the fabulous views the Ghat offers, it houses the famous Kedarshwar temple, after which the Ghat has been named, dedicated to Lord Ishwar, Shiva, and the Guri Khan, Pond, which lies at the base of the temple. The temple is believed to be a replica of the famous Kedarnath temple located in Uttarakhand. It is believed to be the second most crowded Ghat in Varanasi after Dashashwam Ghat. Ah, Om Jai Gange Mata. The name of Chameshwar Ghat comes from a legend. 
It is believed Chamak, a monster established a temple of Lord Shiva out of his devotion, and the temple and the god it is situated in, both were named Chameshwar. Constructed during the 19th century by the esteemed Chameshwar Temple Trust, the Chameshwar Ghat remains a cherished edifice nestled alongside the revered Ganges River. In 1805 Pandi Ghat was built in honor of a famous wrestler who established a wrestling site, Akara, there. His name was Babua Pandi. The shrine of Samsvara exists close by to it. In its vicinity lies the old site of Prabha Satirtha, but presently it is spatially transposed at Raja Ghat. Dashashwain Ghat is a main Ghat in Varanasi. It is located close to Vishvanath Temple. There are two Hindu legends associated with the Ghat, according to one, Brahma created it to welcome Shiva, and in another, Brahma performed ten Ashwamega Yajna, Dasa Ashwamida Yajna. <laughs> Ghat, perched along the banks of Varanasi's majestic Ganges River, is a place of breathtaking beauty, cultural heritage and profound spirituality. Steeped in Hindu mythology and traditions, this holy site serves as a powerful symbol for life and death, ancient rituals, beliefs and customs meet here daily in cremations that provide a tantalizing glimpse of Varanasi's vibrant spiritual tapestry. Final date. <laughs> Hey, 
The most confronting god, Nanakarnika is the place where the majority of dead bodies are cremated in Varanasi, approximately 28,000 every year. Hindus believe it will liberate them from the cycle of death and rebirth. Indeed, you will openly come face to face with death at Nanakarnika Ghat. Piles of firewood line the shore and the fires continually burn with the stream of dead bodies, each wrapped in cloth and carried through the lanes on makeshift stretchers by the doms, a cast of untouchables that handles the corpses and supervises the burning god. There are two legends which are associated with the Manakarnika god. According to one, Vishnu used his chakra to dig a pit and filled it with his perspiration while performing various penances. While watching Vishnu, one of Shiva's earrings or Manakarnika fell into the pit. According to the second legend, Parvati hid her earrings at this site to keep Shiva from traveling around the world. She told him that she had lost the earrings on the banks of the Ganges. In this legend, Whenever a body gets cremated at the Manakarnika god, Shiva asks the soul whether it has seen the earrings. Cremation on Gods In the Hindu tradition, cremation is one of the rites of passage. And the Gods of Varanasi are considered one of the auspicious locations for this ritual. At the time of the cremation or at last rites, a puja, prayer, is performed by one or more Hindu priests. Sacred hymns and mantras are recited during cremation to mark the ritual. There is a number of Varanasi Hindu or pilgrim rituals. Some of them are, Gaya Pind, Don, Asti Nimajanam, Anna Shrad, Sambatsrikam, Abdikam in Varanasi. Sindhya Ghat, also known as Shinde Ghat, borders Manakarnika to the north, with its Shiva temple lying partially submerged in the river as a result of excessive weight of the Ghat's construction about 150 years ago. Above the Ghat, several of Kashi's most influential shrines are located within the tight maze of alleys of Siddhakshetra, field of fulfillment. According to tradition, Agni, the Hindu god of fire, was born here. Hindu devotees propitiate at this place Vireshwara the Lord of all heroes, for a son. Ganga Mahal Ghat is one of the main ghats on the Ganges River in Varanasi. Constructed in 1830 CE by the Narayan dynasty, the ghat is north of a sea ghat and was originally constructed as an extension to a sea ghat. Ganga Mahal Ghat stands out for its unique architecture blending styles from different times. It is like a mix of royal design with fancy balconies, arched doors, and detailed carvings. This mix reflects the city's diverse history and makes the ghat pretty to look at. At sunset, the ghat becomes magical. ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷ 
ಧರಾಧರೇಂದ್ರ ನಂದಿನಿ ವಿಲಾಸ ಬಂಧು ಬಂಧು ರಸ್ತು ರತ್ತಿಗಂತ ಸಂತತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದ ಮಾನ ಮಾನಸಿ ಪಾಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಧೋರಣಿ ನಿರುದ್ಧ ಧರಾಪದೆ ಚಿತ್ತಿಗಂಬರೆ ಮನು ವಿನೋದ ಮೇತು ವಸ್ತು ನೇ ಜಟಾಭುಜಂಗ ಪಿಂಗಲ ಸ್ಫುರತ್ಪಣ ಮಣಿ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಕದಂಬ ಕುಂಕುಮದ್ರವ ಪ್ರಲಿಪ್ತ ದಿಗ್ಬ ಧೂಮುಖೆ ಅಂಧ ಸಿಂಧು ರಸ್ಫುರತ್ತು ಉತ್ತರೀಯ ಮೇದುರೆ ಮನೋ ವಿನೋದ ಮಧು ತಂಬಿ ಭರ್ತು ಭೂತ ವರ್ತರೆ ಸಹಸ್ರಲೋಚನ ಪ್ರಭೀತ ಶೇಷ ಲೇಖ ಶೇಖರ ಪ್ರಸೂನ ಗೂಲಿ ಧೋರಣಿ ವಿಧುಸರಾಂಗ ಪೀಠಭು ಜಂಗರಾಜ ಮಾಲಯ ನಿಬದ್ಧ ಜಾಟ ಜೂಟ ಭಕ್ತಿಯ ಚಿರಾಯ ಜಾಯ ತಾಂ ಚೋರ ಬಂಧು ಶೇಖರ ಲಲಾಟ ಚತುರಜ್ಜ್ವಲ ಧನಂಜಯ ಸ್ಫುಲಿಂಗ ಭಾನಿ ಪೀತ ಪಂಚ ಸಾಯಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಿಂಪ ನಾಯಕ ಕಾಮಯೂಖ ಲೇಖಯ ವಿರಾಜಮಾನ ಶೇಖರ ಹಾಕಪಾಲಿ ಸಂಪದೆ ಕಿರೋ ಜಟಾಲ ಮಸ್ತುನ ಕರಾಲ ಹಾಲ ಪಟ್ಟಿಕಾ ಧಗದ್ ಧಗದ್ ಧಗಜ್ಜ್ವಲ ಧನಂಜಯ ಹುಕೀಕಿತ ಪ್ರಚಂಡ ಪಂಚ ಸಾಯಿಗೆ ರಾಧರೇಂದ್ರ ನಂದಿನಿ ಕುಚಾಗ್ರ ಚಿತ್ರ ಪತ್ರಕ ಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಪಶಿಲ್ಪಿ ತಿಲೋಚ ನೀರ ತಿರ್ಮಮ ನಬೀನ ಮೇಘ ಮಂಡಲಿ ನಿರುದ್ಧ ದುರ್ಧರ ಸ್ಫುರ ಕುಹೂನಿ ಸೀತಿ ನೀತ ಮುಕ್ತ ಬದ್ಧ ಬಂಧ ಗಂಧರ ಲಿಂಪ ನಿರ್ಝರಿಧರ ತನೋ ತು ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸಿಂಧುರ ಅಲಾ ನಿಧಾನ ಬಂಧುರ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಜಗದ್ದು ಗಂಧರ ಪ್ರಫುಲ್ಲ ನೀಲ ಪಂಕಜ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಕಾಲಿಮ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಬಲಂಬಿ ಕಂಠ ಕಂದಲಿ ರುಚಿ ಪ್ರಬಂಧ ಗಂಧರ ಅಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಪುರಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಅವಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಅಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಅಚ್ಚಿದಾಂ ಅಚ್ಚಿದಂ ತಮಂತ ಕಚ್ಚಿದಂ ಭಗೆ ಅಖರ್ವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಂಗಲ ಕಲಾ ಕದಂಬ ಮಂಜರಿ ರಸ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ಮಾಧುರಿ ವಿಜಿಂಗಣ ಮುಖೂಪತಂ ಕಂತಕಂ ಪುರಂತಕಂ ಅವಂತಕಂ ಕಾಂತಕಂ ಕಂತ ಕಾಂತ ಕಾಂತಕಂ ತಮಂತ ಕಾಂತಕಂ ಭಗೆ ಜಯತ್ತು ದಬ್ಧ ಬಿಭ್ರಮ ಭ್ರಮದ್ದು ಜಂಗ ಮಸ್ಸು ಸಾಧು ನಿರ್ಗಮತ್ರ ಮಸ್ಕುರ ಕರಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಹವ್ಯ ಮಿದ್ದಿ ಮಿದ್ದಿ ಮಿದ್ದು ನಟ್ಟಿ ತಂಗ ತುಂಗ ಮಂಗಲ ಅನಿಕ್ರಮ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಿತ ಪ್ರಚಂಡ ತಾಂಡವ ಶಿವ ಚಿತ್ರ ಕಲ್ಪಯೋರ್ ಭುಜಂಗ ಮೋಕ್ತಿ ಕಷ್ಟ ಜೋಗ ರಿಷ್ಠ ರತ್ನ ಲೋಷ್ಠಯ ಸುಹಿದಿ ಪಕ್ಷ ಪಕ್ಷಯ ನಾರವಿಂದ ಚಕ್ಷು ಸೊ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಮಹಿ ಮಹೇಂದ್ರಯ ಸಮ ಪ್ರವೇತಿ ಕಹ ಕದಾ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಂ ಭಜಮ್ಯಹಂ ಕದಾ ನಿಲಿಂಪ ನಿರ್ಝರಿ ನಿ ಕುಂಜ ಕೋಟ ರೇ ಬಸನ್ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ದುರ್ಮತಿ ಸದಾ ಚಿರಸ್ಥಲಂಧ ಬಿಂಬ ಲೋಲ ಲೋಲ ಲೋಚನು ಲಲಾಮ ಭಾಲ ಲಗ್ನ ಬೇತಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮುಚ್ಚರ ಕದಾ ಸುಖಿ ಭವಮ್ಯಹಂ ಇಮಂ ಹಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಮೇವ ಮುತ್ತ ಮುತ್ತ ಮುಕ್ತ ಮಂಸ್ತಬಂ ಪಠಂ ಸ್ಮರಂದು ಬನ್ನರ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಿ ಮೇತಿ ಸಂತತಂ ಹರೇ ಗುರೌ ಸುಭಕ್ತಿ ಮಾಸು ಯಾತ ನಾನ್ಯ ಕಾಗತಿ ವಿಮೋಹನಂ ಹಿ ದೇಹ ಸುಶಂಕರ ಚಿಂತನ ವಿಮೋಹನಂ ಹಿ ದೇಹ ಸುಶಂಕರ ಚಿಂತನ ವಿಮೋಹನಂ ಹಿ ದೇಹ ಸುಶಂಕರ ಚಿಂತನ Built in the mid-18th century, it was the site of a fierce battle between the local Maharaja Chait, or Chet, Singh and the troops of the representative of the British East India Company in 1781. The battle was a result of Chet Singh's refusal to provide Hastings with all the troops he demanded.
Arti means a spiritual slash religious ritual offered to God slash deities. Every day at sunset, a group of priests performs Agni Puja, fire worship, wherein a dedication is made to Lord Shiva, River Ganga, the Ganges, Surya, Sun, Agni, fire, and the whole universe. Arti is a devotional ritual which uses fire and offering to the Ma Ganga, goddess of the most holy river in India. Lamps are lit and circled by pundits, Hindu priests, accompanied by lively dance and songs of devotion. The priests believe that through their devotion the lamps will acquire the power of the goddess, and the ritual ends as they cup their hands over the flames, raise their palms to their foreheads, and absorb the purification and blessing of the goddess. What does Hare Krishna Hare Rama mean? Hare refers to either the energy of Hari, Lord Vishnu, or Hara, Krishna's consort, Shakti. Krishna and Rama are the names of two avatars of Lord Vishnu. The Hare Krishna mantra is chanted as a petition to God, and its meaning can be interpreted as, O Lord, O energy of the Lord, please engage me in your service. Oh, my God.